Hi, this is Sean Na with the Innovative Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Realty. Today we're going to be discussing international buying activity and what that means to you as a home seller. Hi, this is Sean Na with the Innovative Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Realty. Today we're going to be discussing international buying activity and what that means to you as a home seller. Before we begin, first I'd like to direct you to two uh, links on my video blog. The first, if you're interested in buying a home, click on the search for homes button. If you're looking at uh, selling a home, click the what's my home work button and I'll send you a free valuation. So back to our topic, international home buying activity and what it means to you as a home seller. See, a lot of agents are, uh, are great and do wonderful uh, jobs at marketing properties locally. But did you know, one out of 12 properties sold in the United States is an international home buyer. It's a foreign buyer. One out of 12. It's like 9%. It's crazy. It's huge. What that accounts for is $104 billion in just sales volume in the United States. 60, uh, international buyers pay an average of 60% more than the median price range. 60% of those transactions that are international are cash transactions, super easy. I've worked with them. I've worked with international buyers. They know what they want. They, uh, they view the United States relative to their home economy, whether it's Europe, China, or Canada. They view U US real estate as a safe haven because things are so volatile elsewhere. Um, they invest in the long run because they want their children to come here uh, and study abroad in the future. So a variety of reasons, but the point is, is um, it's it's a number that cannot be ignored. One out of twelve transactions. So uh, the question is, where do they buy? Well, contrary to co common thought, uh, they're not just buying in world-class cities like New York, Miami, uh, Los Angeles, and and and, uh, and like Beverly Hills they are buying the majority of them are buying in suburban areas so uh, there were four states that accounted for uh, nearly half of the international buying volume uh, that was Florida California Texas and Arizona California accounted for about uh, 16 70 percent of that so again the number is huge and it cannot be ignored um, when I caught wind of this uh, several years ago I started educating myself and I, uh, I, I finally got my GPS designation, which is Global Property Specialist. And what, that, what that's allowed me to do is really get an insight into how the international buyer thinks, um, how they finance, if they finance, usually it's cash, um, where they're buying, how to get in touch with them, who their brokers are. And that is my, uh, that, that's why I've uh, certified myself as a GPS, a Global Property Specialist. It gave me access to 600,000 agents across the world in 100 different countries. It allows me to translate your property information into 19 different languages. And, uh, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg, but just, you know, uh, just to give you a little idea of what the GPS designation means. And what does it mean for you as a home seller? Well, Suffice to say, I mean, we're, we're great at uh, marketing properties locally. It's what we do uh, day in and day out. But to add that layer of uh, ability to market internationally, all that translates into you as a home seller is that we'd be able to expose your property to more people, to more eyeballs, to more prospective buyers, and ultimately get your home sold for more money and in a shorter amount of time. So if you have any questions, any real estate related questions, any questions about uh, you know, what it really means to market internationally, call me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.